What is going on ladies and gents, Randy here the RTS Mobile Game and bringing you a fantastical video today. We are playing Lord of the Rings Rise to War and we are talking about the brand new Tier 2 Evil Commander, Zagred. He is a Viking murderer of doom, okay? So let's get right into it and give me the like and sub. I love you long time. Mwah. Here we go. Zagred is an evil man. He is a warrior, which means he gains 10% physical damage, 25 might, and 2 skill points. Okay, he has... Uh, well above average might at 2.24 per level. His focus is probably one of the lowest in the games at uh, 0.3 per level. And then his speed is just about average at 1.06 per level, okay? Uh, he has enough might to get his job done. He can do some fantastic self-commander uh, damage dealt as well as boost to his army, okay? So gear-wise, uh, it's going to really depend on what build you're running. If you are running the army build, we're going to talk about that in a second. But uh, if you're running commander damage build, you're going to want to run things that have heavy might, uh, like this battle axe, uh, and things like that are going to be best in slot for that, okay? All right, so into his skills, like and sub, yes. Into his skills. Zegrit has two real builds that you can run, ladies and gents, okay? The first build that you can run is going to be basically for respect 0 through 4 uh, and it's going to be commander damage based okay you're not going to really run a unit based build unless you respect level 5 we'll talk about that in a second so for this uh, commander damage build first let's assume that you're respect 4 right now you're going to put points enemy into enemy of Rohirrim which is going to do fantastic damage nuke on a two round cooldown plus a bonus hit if the enemy has mounted units. Okay, you're going to be putting a bunch of points into swing and disarm, which is going to be some damage output from this fellow. Then you're going to put some points in the reckless, give yourself plus 30% damage dealt, as well as a 10% chance to be maddened every round. We love being maddened, that's the best. Okay. And after that, you're going to go put points into break defense, which is going to give you a nice nuke. It's going to also reduce the enemy's defense, okay? From here, you should be uh, running out of points uh, pretty soon here as you start to get higher and higher level. Uh, if you're only respect 4, you won't have a whole lot more points to go into anything else. Uh, but if you're a higher respect level and you want to go to the commander damage route, you can also decide to put points in topple which is going to be a decent damage nuke as well as a chance to crowd control or you can switch it up and put points into brigand brigand is going to increase the damage you deal by 15 percent for both your commander and your army when attacking on a tile that does not have something built on it so if you're not attacking a fortress or a fort or a base or a city uh if you're just attacking a blank tile which happens all the time in this game it is not uncommon uh, if you're just attacking a blank tile then you will deal 15 percent bonus damage okay so that is actually a decently strong ability uh, not a whole great not a great use of 15 points to get that uh, but the ability itself is interesting okay so if you do have brigand and the reckless both maxed out you're looking at plus 45 percent damage dealt by your commander okay now, if you are respect level 5, we're going to switch it up and we're going to jump into the Brigand Tree and the uh, Dunferian Chieftain Tree, okay? The Dunferian Chieftain Tree is going to give you plus 30% damage dealt by your Dunlending Warriors. Now we're changing this up. You're no longer going to be focusing on commander damage. You're going to be fo focusing on your Dunlending Warriors, which are the neutral camp located up uh, in the Middle North region, okay? So... For this build, you of course are going to want to max out Dunferian Chieftain, extremely key here. It's going to give you plus 30% damage as well as plus 20 speed to your army. The Dunling, uh, Dun, Dunlending Warriors already have 95 base speed. This is going to put them at 115 speed, okay? Parry is going to give you reduced damage taken by your units. And then Stragglers is going to give you bonus damage to your units again, as well as... Um, a uh, little bit of negative defense debuff, okay? So between this, this should be about 13 damage, plus 30 damage. You're looking at uh, 43 damage. And then if you happen to get Brigand with your leftover points uh, and you're fighting on an empty tile, now you're looking at 58% um, bonus damage to your Dunlending Warriors just through Brigand. 
Dune Ferian Chieftain, and the Stragglers. That is an enormous amount of damage. Dune Lending, uh, Dune Lending Warriors already, already deal decent damage, okay? And then you're going to put points into Battle Conditioning, which is going to give you plus 35 speed. So between Battle Conditioning and Dune Fairy and Chieftain, you're going to be at 150 speed on your Dune Lending Warriors. From there, you can put on the Drums of Moria and get an additional 12 speed. You'll be at 162 speed for Warrior Infantry units, okay? That is crazy. So let's go look at what that looks like over here. Here are the Dune Lending Warriors, okay? You can see here, there's a 95 speed. If we add on 35 plus 20 plus 12, we're up at 162 speed right there. Their damage is pretty decent for just a standard infantry unit, especially because they have 100 per command. Their defense is very low. You're going to want to use uh, equipment that gives plus defense. Okay. Their health is about average. But overall, their damage is pretty decent for an infantry type war, uh, uh, infantry type unit. Okay. So, plus 58% damage on this is going to be a nice boost. Plus the speed, they're going to attack first. So, overall, this could be a very exciting combination if you wanted to try it out, okay? So, personally, I think that the Commander Zegrid's commander damage dealt will be half decent. I think it'll be comparable to Agzok. I don't think it will be anywhere near as high as Lurts or Legolas. Uh, so if you're going to run commander damage, I would just stick with Lurts and Legolas. Um, but if you can get this guy to respect level 5, he could be a very strong commander for the infantry type units uh the dune lending warriors okay so that is the video give me the like and sub i love you guys long time randy out baby i can't where's the off button there it is